The chemokines regulate how blood cells move around the body, so essentially involved in helping them navigate to various destinations. Uh, and it turns out that they therefore play profound roles in cancer as well. So for example, many cancers are full of blood cells that help the cancer develop, give it growth factors and nutrients, etc. And they are attracted actively to the cancer environment because the cancer makes chemokines. So understanding that axis is important in understanding how tumours are promoted and developed. Another thing that's uh, become apparent over the past 10 years from chemokine research is that tumour cells during metastasis, in some cases anyway, actually adopt the navigational property of, of white blood cells or leukocytes. So they actually switch on receptors for chemokines and they move to sites where blood cells would normally move, like the bone marrow or the liver or the lung or the lymph nodes. So essentially, my interest in chemokines are fairly basic in how they function, but they are absolutely implicated in a whole range of different aspects of tumor genesis and metastasis, and that's our interest. One of the things we need to try to do is understand what the it's a large, complex family of chemokines. There are more than 50 of them. So we have to try to dissect out which are the key players in promoting tumor genesis or promoting metastasis. Uh, there's a large pharmaceutical industry uh, drive to make small molecule blockers that interfere with chemokines and the receptors. And so that would be the automatic way we would go. We would start to look at the possibility of using these blockers uh, developed for probably other purposes in the context of cancer. So for example, can you starve a cancer of its inflammatory cell component? Um, and therefore starve it of nutrients by blocking the activity of chemokines. Can you um, impair the metastatic process by interfering with chemokine receptors that pop up in the metastatic cells? That's the sort of things we're interested in. Currently, the, the work is in mice and in profiling human tumours for the sort of chemokines that they make. The pharmaceutical side will follow. There's, as I say, a big drive mainly from pharmaceutical companies interested in inflammation to try and generate drugs against chemokines because they're big in inflammatory diseases. But as soon as they're available and licensed, um, then they will be moved into the, the cancer context. There are actually surprisingly few drugs against, cancer, against chemokines. It's been a tough, long slog making them, but when they become available, uh, they will absolutely be moved into the, the, the therapeutic context.